Uh, Lincoln read Paine uh, when, he, when he moved to Illinois, and he read Paine's patriotic writing, Common Sense, uh, but he also read The Age of Reason, which is Paine's ferocious attack on Christianity and all organized religion. Um, Paine was, uh, was not an atheist, but he was a, a, I guess we would say, a deist. He believed in God. As he said, I believe in one God and no more. But he thought that all religions were just organized to terrify and oppress people. And uh, the age of reason, most of it is going through the Bible and, and you know, quibbling and quarreling with this inconsistency and that contradiction. And, you know, it's really like with a fine-tooth comb. And it's kind of a perfect book, or, or a, the opposite of a perfect book, uh, for a country which is, which is very Bible literate. You know, America, Bible reading, Protestant country, and Paine is just standing it on its head and saying, no, this is all wrong. And so Lincoln, when he's in his 20s, uh, he reads Paine. Uh, his, his parents uh, were religious. They were Baptists. His father was a church trustee at one point. So I think part of this is rebellion. You know, but he reads Paine, and he thinks, this is great. You know, it's all... It's all nonsense. I don't have to worry about any of this anymore. It's all contradictions. Uh, Jesus was illegitimate, you know, on and on and on. And he even, he, he, when he's a, in his early 20s, and he's a postmaster, that was one of, one of his jobs. He had a number of jobs, um, different jobs in his early 20s. And in, in that town, there was no post office. The postmaster worked in someone's store, just had a little corner of the store, and that's where he you know, took in the letters and handed them out uh, to the people they were going to. But so Lincoln is there with, every, with all the fellows and saying one night, well, I've, you know, I have written, I have written a pamphlet, you know, an attack on Christianity, and I want to get it printed. And then an older man, the owner of the store, a man named Samuel Hill, uh, he, took the, he said, oh, let me see that. He took the pamphlet and he stuck it in the stove, burned it up. Because Lincoln was already interested in politics. You know, no, you're not going to print this thing. Because uh, that would be the end of you. I mean, it was, it was the end of pain. You know, he went from being this great hero of the revolution, and then he writes the Age of Reason, and suddenly he's this goat and this... Uh, devil figure in America, and so this, this kid in uh, Illinois, he's just going to destroy himself if he prints something like that. So uh, that was the, you know, the end of Lincoln publicizing these thoughts. Then he learns to become prudent about them. And then at some point, and we can't say when, because he, is, he does not talk about this a lot, his ideas begin to change. And you see, it, uh, you see it most dramatically in the Civil War. 